So here's a problem that's been presented. It says, what's the distance between points A and B? And A is 5, 30 degrees, and B is 6, 135. So the goal in this video is we want to figure out how can we find the distance between any two points in the polar coordinate system. And so we're going to start with an example, and then we'll kind of generalize from there. Um, and if you don't know how polar coordinates work, then you should probably go watch my other polar coordinate video, and I'll link to that in the description down below. So we're going to start by graphing point A. That's 5, 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is right there at that tick mark. Then we're going to go out 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. So this is point A. And then point B is going to be 6, 135. So 135 is there at that red tick mark. And we go out 6. So this point here is going to be B. And what we're trying to figure out is the distance between A and B. So I'm just going to draw a line between A and B. And this is what we're trying to figure out. What I'm going to do uh, a little foreshadowing. I'm going to call this lowercase c. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start by making a triangle. We're going to use trigonometry to figure out the distance between A and B. So I'm going to draw this blue line in from the center out to A, and we know that is 5 because it's 5 units out to get to A. And then I'm going to do the same thing from the center out to B. That is going to be 6. And then there's one more thing we can figure out on this. We know this angle in between here because it was 30 degrees to get to 5, 30 degrees. And then it was 135 degrees to get to B. And so then if I subtract those two, I'm going to be left with what's uh, in between there. So if I take 135 minus 30, 135 minus 30, that's going to be 105. So this angle in between here is 105 degrees. All right, so what we're going to do, uh, if you're a trigonometry wizard here, you are probably screaming in your head law of cosines, and that's exactly what we're going to do to solve this uh, problem. So the law of cosines... is useful when we have a side angle side situation and a, or a side 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 situation. This is when we use the law of cosines. And in this one, we have two sides. Oops, I'm going to use a different color. We have two sides. We've got 6 and 5. And then the angle in between them is 105 degrees. So this would be considered a side angle side situation. The law of cosines tells us c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So far, it looks like the Pythagorean theorem. Minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of angle c. So let's fill in what we know and kind of get an understanding of, of how to do this. So we're trying to figure out side c, and I, that's why I called that distance C. And then we know that A is going to be 5, so it's going to be 5 squared plus B squared, and B is going to be 6 in this situation. And then minus 2 times 5 is A times 6, which is B, times the cosine of 105. That's our angle. So to save myself a little bit of time, I've already got this punched into my calculator. And we've got 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 5 times 6 times cosine of 105. And I get 76.529. So back to this, we've got 76.529. And that's not the distance, that's the distance squared. So we're going to square root both sides. And what do we get? So back to my calculator, I'm going to do the square root of that number. And I get 8.75.
So the distance from A to B is about 8.75 units. Cool. So now, how do we generalize this? Well, obviously, we're going to use the law of cosines. So let's say we've got two, you know, any points with any radius and any theta. How do we find the distance between these two in the polar coordinate system? Well, if I kind of sketch it out, here's my center of my polar coordinates. Here's point A and point B, kind of like we had before. This is going to be R1, and this is going to be R2 here. And we're trying to figure out this distance. I'll call it D this time. And our theta is going to be here. This is going to be theta 2 minus theta 1. That's what we figured out in the last one. We subtract those two angles. So using the law of cosines, it's going to be D squared equals R1 squared plus R2 squared, so just square the radii, minus 2 times R1 times R2 times the cosine of our angle, which is theta 2 minus theta 1. So this is going to be our formula for any, the distance between any two points. Well, Maybe we should do for distance. So I'm going to square root both sides of this. So our final, final formula would be D equals the square root of a bunch of stuff, right? The radius, the first radius squared plus the second radius squared minus 2 times the first radius times the second radius times the cosine of the distance or the difference between the two thetas theta 2 minus theta 1. So, you know, if I just threw this big, ugly formula at you and said this is the distance between two points in polar coordinates, you'd probably be like, holy smokes, that's pretty crazy. But remember, it's just the law of cosines. So we're just dealing with the, the law of cosines. Law of cosines. And so if you know the law of cosines, that's all you got to know. All right, so that's the distance between two points in a polar coordinate system.